today we're going to tackle Project Euler problem number three. We're going to learn all about primes and factors. This problem is fairly straightforward, so we shouldn't have to dig too deep into Wikipedia. Here's our problem. The prime factors of 13,195 are 5, 7, 13, and 29. What is the largest prime factor of the given number? First, let's figure out what a prime number is in case you forgot, which I did. So a prime number is a whole number greater than one that cannot be made by multiplying other whole numbers. Some examples are two, three, five, and seven. A prime factor is a factor that is a prime number, or in other words, any of the prime numbers that can be multiplied to give the original number. Here's an example. The factors of 35 are one, five, seven, and 35. 35 is a composite of seven and five, therefore seven is the highest prime number making it the highest prime factor. Now that we are armed with grade school math, let's solve this thing. So here's our steps. We're gonna iterate over all factors, check the factor to make sure it's a prime number, and return the last factor. So the first thing that we wanna do inside of our little function is we're gonna set up a local state, and we're gonna call it primes and factors and we're gonna make that an empty array. The next step is to set up our for loop. So let's do for let factor iterator, and that's gonna equal zero. The factor, while the factor iterator is equal, or less than or equal to our number, which is the number that gets passed in as an argument into the function. And then we're going to add uh, one every time the loop gets run. And then this is gonna get kinda long, so I'm gonna add this on the end. So I'm just gonna set up some steps here. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to check if the num is a factor. And then we want to see if factor is a prime. And then if it is, push to our primes list. So we're gonna check to see if it's a factor by doing this. We'll create a variable is factor and that's going to equal whether the number modulo our factor iterator, which is the number we're iterating over, equals to zero. So in other words, when you divide these two number is there a remainder. If there is a remainder, that means it's not a factor. We're also going to set up whether it is prime. We're going to default to uh, prime being true, which I'll show you in a second why. So first we will do if is factor and make a little if statement. We're gonna do something. If it is a factor, let's see if the factor is a prime. And as a reminder to ourselves, a prime number has two factors, one and itself. So we're gonna have to do another for loop. So let's start with two. While i is less than factor iterator, which is our number, i plus plus if factor iterator modulos i equals equals zero. That means our number is not a prime number, and we should continue the loop. So if it makes it through, and it is a factor, if is factor, and is prime, let's go ahead and push that to our factor iterator. And then finally, after all that stuff is done, we are going to return last element of the array with a really awesome uh, array method called pop. And if we have done our job correctly when we run the tests, yay. All right, so we got this function, a number gets passed in, and this is gonna be basically our ceiling as far as we're gonna go. 
So the first thing we're doing is we're setting up our local state because we're going to return the last item in here that's an array of both our of our numbers that are both primes and factors. We're going to do our first for loop. We're going to start our factor iterator. Usually this is i, but I wanted to make it verbose because it's easier to understand. Starting at zero, while it's less than this number, because again that's our ceiling, and we're going to uh, add one for the loop. So this is one loop. So as we're going through our numbers, we want to see if it's a factor. So is zero a factor of whatever our number is? And so on to up into the largest number. So if we get that is factor, then we're going to do another loop. So if it is a factor, now we have to check and see if it's a prime number. So because we know that a prime number only has two factors, one and itself, we're going to skip over those in the loop. So that's why we start at two, and that's why we go up to but not including the factor iterator number. So if any number between two and the number that we're looping through is evenly divisible, that means it's not a prime number. So finally, if it is a factor and it is a prime, then we're going to push that to the array. And then this is just going to get all the prime numbers from 5 to infinity, and we're going to grab the last one. And that's it. This has been another presentation of Project Euler with me, Jared, doing it in JavaScript. In this challenge, we start getting into the need for algorithms. The approach that we took is a brute force approach that required two separate for loops, which isn't ideal. This works okay for now, but we're going to need something more powerful for the next set of problems, I'm sure. So if you like this, if you got any comments, a uh, way to improve this, go ahead and throw them in the comments below, or find me on the social medias. I would love to talk about it. Uh, nothing else? Happy coding.